With prices on the major row crops down from previous years, farmers are hoping for improvement heading into 2015. Yeah, Damon Jones recently attended the Crop Outlook meeting in San Diego and tells you what to expect in the coming year. Whether it's peanuts, corn, or cotton, row crop production was as good as ever in 2014. However, the same can't be said for the prices as each took a dip from the previous few years, and it's that ample supply that's the main culprit. I mean, if you look at uh, uh, prices on our, our major row crops, corn and soybeans, uh, cotton, those prices have come down. And what we've really seen is the, the, fundamental, the fundamental supply and demand situation in the market uh, has kind of turned a corner. With that surplus, a dramatic rise in prices isn't likely in the near future, as 2015 is projected to be another good production year if Mother Nature cooperates. I think that, uh, again, if weather is normal, not just in the United States, but globally, we'll continue to see some increases in the availability of those crops, and that's going to continue to keep prices under pressure. However, don't expect the bottom to fall out, as the demand for these products will remain as strong as ever, and it's that interest from consumers that will keep prices stable. I do think that we've got, uh, again, very good demand for these crops. I think that, that kind of puts a floor under that market. It's not a situation where we've got uh, growing supplies and, and really weak demand when things really do fall apart. I think if you look at the kind of demand we've got, not just in the United States, but around the world, particularly places like China and India, where we have very populous countries with growing incomes, uh, that gives us a good base to work from even with large supplies. As for the export market, it's likely to see a bump in demand as well. In fact, 2014 was a year that saw record-breaking numbers. I think the export market looks very good. Uh, foreign demand for all ag products has been outstanding. Uh, actually, we had the best year we've ever had in terms of the amount of ag products in general, the value of ag products that, that we've exported. So uh, exports have been phenomenally good, and the ag sector, I think, has done a tremendous job overall in, in meeting a growing foreign demand. Considering the lower prices are here for the short term, there's a simple way to manage your profit margin. Again, I think we've got a situation where we, we, we have to plan on supplies continuing to increase. That makes it very important to manage costs. It's uh, very important to try to be a low-cost producer, which is always true, but that's especially true in market environments like this. Another piece of advice from Anderson is to be as conservative as possible and take a profit whenever possible. Look at all the tools that are available to manage risk. Look very closely at the crop insurance options that are out there, uh, forward pricing opportunities either through cash forward contracts or through futures and options. And if there's a, a situation, if there's a, an opportunity uh, to price at a profit, uh, you better think really hard about doing it because the profits may be uh, not as easy to come by as they were uh, a few years ago. Reporting from San Diego, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.